Here we go. It all started Friday afternoon. I was contemplating a lint on the bedroom floor while Elroy sized up his chances for winning this year's Insectathon. What are we going to do, Blue? If we don't find a killer bug by Sunday, we're going to lose the trophy. Gordon Smugs might even win. I was about to growl at the mention of Gordon Smugs' name when I was interrupted. Hey, Blue, I got email. Attention, drip face, from Gordon Smugs. Give it up. Take a hike. Don't even bother coming to the dead Daniel insect the dot. Cause guess what I found behind the sandwich shop on 52nd Street? A six inch long Hercules beetle. Oh no! A six inch long Hercules beetle? Yeah, read it and weep, sucker. Kiss that grand prize trophy goodbye. Everybody knows last year was a fluke. It's time that trophy went back to its rightful owner. Me. <laughs> How are we going to match that, Blue? No one had ever beaten a Hercules beetle in the Insectathon before. And the best thing Elroy had so far was a singing Egyptian cockroach, which are a dime a dozen in this city. We better get down to that alley right away. Sounded good to me. I like alley work. In fact, alley work is right up my alley. <laughs> Just as we were leaving... Hot pumpkin. Mrs. Hicks just called. She's got the stomach flu, so she's not going to be able to stay with you while we're away this weekend. We were headed for another weekend of non-stop boredom on the Step Family Farm. No. Please. Not the farm! Can't you just stay home? Elroy, this yoga retreat is very important <laughs> to both of us. You know how I get when I'm stiff. But, but the 10th annual Insectathon is on Sunday. I've got to be there. I'm sure there'll be another Insectathon next year. Next year? Next year! <laughs> I'll die of humiliation by then. Now, Lamb Chop. Uh-uh. No. There is no way I'm leaving this city. You couldn't blast me with that stick of dynamite. Wild horses can drag me away. Not even if you tied me up and get me. <laughs> Next thing you know, we were heading for the country. Not only would we miss the insectathon, but it seemed pretty obvious we'd never be able to catch the kind of hyper city bug it takes to bring a grand prize. Hey, you want some help there, young fella? Are you going to do us a magic trick? <laughs> Very funny. We'll be back Sunday night. Love you, Snookums. Remember, focus on fun. Hey, hey, did I ever tell you about your step-uncle Sheldon's dog? Yeah, last time I was... Well, his name was Will Call, smartest dog you ever saw. He could add, subtract, and watch TV. <laughs> Uncle Sheldon even taught him to do his tax... <laughs> yeah, short form, of course. <laughs> the weekend was looking pretty darn bleak. Okay, well, I've got chores galore, so um, I'll be back around sundown. Uh, uh, do what you like, but remember my don'ts. Don't go in the tool shed. Uh, don't go near the pond. Uh, don't be chasing my prize chickens. And uh, 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 don't underestimate the insect population. What? And another thing, it's Aunt May's birthday, so I baked her a cake. Oh, it took me all day to get it picture perfect. So, whatever you do, don't let that mangy mutt anywhere near it. Mangy mutt, I don't mangy mutt. Isopterus moralis. Huh, there's hundreds of them. The minute the farmer left the house, Elroy went after a termite, and, and I... Well, I, I, I couldn't help myself. I knew it was the wrong thing to do. I knew the consequences would be severe. But a dog's got to do what a dog's got to do. Ah! Oh, I'm just going to flip. Maybe I, maybe I can just... Uh, mm, uh, what do you think? Uh, the cake looked kind of rough, and Elroy panicked. We got a bigger cake. We got a bigger cake. We got a bigger cake. <laughs> I did my best to keep calm. There. Now all he needs an egg. No eggs! No eggs. Everything's going wrong. 
Gordon Smug's gonna get my trophy. <laughs> We're stuck out here with a bunch of egg bugs. <laughs> and now you had to go and... <laughs> I gently guided Elroy okay. outside. That's my neck. Let oh. go. How many times do I have to tell you? You're the dog and I'm the person. I'm supposed to drag you around the neck. Not, 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 not. Elroy acted out his frustration for several minutes until he was interrupted. Hey, get away. Wait a sec. It was the bug to beat all bugs. Blue, this is a technoloptera. A technoloptera. Only one had ever been sighted. It was kind of like the Loch Ness Monster. Most experts doubted its existence. I always knew you were real. Wow, that must be a four megagram stink bug. Mm, nice stings. Mm-hmm. Gordon Smugs. You're gonna eat your email. Just as Elroy leapt for the bug of his dreams, so did one of the farmer's overzealous chickens. <laughs> so here we are, dumbfounded by our dilemma. We need an egg. We need an egg. But he wants the bug. I want the bug. What'll I do, Blue? What'll we do? <laughs> looks like we got our hands full, huh? Where do you go? Get up, get up, look over here! Look over here! Whoa! Now hold on there, Elroy. Where are you heading in such a hurry? Uh, nowhere, sir. We just. Well, now, well, I was uh, just on my way back to the house to. Oh, check on that purdy cake I baked. Uh, we've taken care of the. I mean, we we just checked on it. it it's fine. Yeah. Well. Okay. But looky here what I found. Aren't them critters cute? Now, those are some good bugs. They keep the aphids from taking over. Yeah, they sure are pretty. Uh -huh. Boring. And yeah, wh uh, what was that, Elroy? Uh-oh. Um, I said, um, wow. Wow, those are some good bugs. Well, that's right, son. Now, I, now you stay out of trouble. That was a close one. Yeah, you can say that again. A real close one. Well, I didn't mean literally. We better get that egg and fix that cake quick. Which way do you think we should go, Blue? Well, you call the shots. <sighs> oh, like Toledo. There must be eggs all over the place. You watch, Blue. I'll probably get blamed for this, too. You and me both. We're gonna need those eggs. Why, you no good bunch of pinhead chickens. Okay, Blue, we better find that egg. Where are we gonna look hmm. first? Where am I gonna look first? Where could they be hiding those eggs, Blue? Well, if I knew, I'd tell you, believe me. Now, if I was a chicken, this is where I'd lay an egg. This pile of hay is just like a big old nest. Duck gun, feather brain. <sighs> Say it isn't so. Wonder if those chickens can climb ladders, Blue? Oh, uh, why would they? Well, they can fly, sort of. Eggs. Spell those eggs backwards. You know what you get, Blue? Sugs. Suggies. Suggy. Wasn't that the name of your old girlfriend, Blue? That dash home? Hey, 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 please. Now let's leave her out of this, all right? I don't see nothing but... Spiders! Mama! Timber! Oh, boy. Better move over. Ow! I hate arachnids. Wow, this is what they call an art defect, Blue. Let's
let's see if we can pick up anything interesting. Now for an update on this weekend's upcoming Insectathon. Gordon Smugs is the current favorite, having entered a six-inch long Hercules beetle in this Saturday's contest. Last year's winner has apparently left town and has no chance of retaining the trophy. That's what you think, Buster. Yeah, that's what you think. Let's try another station. Must be the bonus channel. The one mom listens to. Boring. And then I mix the cauliflower in with the rutabaga and... We're interrupting our regularly scheduled programming to bring you an urgent message. At approximately 6.25 this morning, a beetle believed to be the Technoloptera was captured by the Greater Central Valley Insect Authorities. Did you hear that, Boo? They caught the Technoloptera. Oh, they couldn't have. The Technoloptera captured earlier this morning has escaped. I repeat, the Technoloptera captured earlier this morning has escaped. Most insect specialists believe the Technoloptera to be no more than a figment in the imagination of Alarmus. Today's capture is the first sign in over 20 years that the beetle may actually exist. We still got a chance, Blue. Hooray! Apparently, the escape resulted from an underestimation of the Technoloptera's capabilities. Immediately after the Technoloptera was captured, she was placed in a jar with a perforated lid. According to authorities, the Technoloptera was able to perform a flight takeoff with such acceleration that a sonic boom was generated, breaking the jar and freeing the Technoloptera. The authorities are requesting that everyone in the area be on the lookout for this rare specimen. If you happen to catch this strange beetle, please use duct tape to reinforce the jar you place it in and contact the authorities immediately. More news as the story progresses. We now return to regularly scheduled programming. It's a good tip, Lou. Duct tape on the jar. Well, I never would have thought of that. But unless we take care of that cake pop, it won't matter if we catch the Technoloptera. Once again, we interrupt regularly scheduled programming to bring you an important news break regarding the Technoloptera. Authorities believe the beetle can fly a maximum of only four miles without refueling. Since it relies on a food source indigenous to this area and not available outside the greater Central Valley, authorities are convinced that the super beetle is still in the area. Please be on the lookout. Thank you for tuning in. That's good news, Blue. Yeah, yep. Let's get a move on. <laughs> hey, come here, come here, come here, chicken. <laughs> the Bug Club for members only. Members only? Well, that's not very hospitable. I hereby proclaim us honorary members. I think you mean ornery members. Let's check it out. Miserable foul. Uh, just say the word. Strange place. That's... Seriously, Heater? I apologize for that. Good idea to avoid another chicken chase. Yeah! Mm. Hey, it's blue. Millions of them. Ants hurting them like cattle. Looks like they stopped to milk a little honeydew. Yeah, honeydew. No eggs in sight. Let's not forget our mission, Blue. Uh, There's gotta be an egg in here somewhere. <laughs> Let's keep looking, Blue. Beetles suck? I don't think so. Well, that can't be right. What kind of bug club is this anyway? That's better. Yeah, that's more like it. 
But we still haven't found an egg, and the clock is ticking. <coughs> special exhibit. Let's see how special. Those chickens might think I'd be too grossed out to look for an egg in this locust swarm. <laughs> no sirree. I uh, have a distinct feeling this isn't going to be too pretty. No sign of an age. Isn't this great? You know, in the mid-60s, a swarm of locusts just like this hit the plain of Selden in northern Nigeria. Four hours later, 75 square kilometers were total, buried under an inch of insect excrement. Nasty. I call that pretty special. Let's keep looking. Dangerous insect in the world. Um, I think we ought to skip this one. It's just a scare tactic. Come on, Lou. The Technolopter is probably in there. Rumor. No Technolopter and no egg. Nothing but a housefly. You see, the common housefly really is the most dangerous insect in the world because it picks up germs and throws them up wherever it lands. Yeah. Delightful. Cholera, typhoid, bubonic plague. I have low tolerance for you, pal. I don't know what's worse about this place. Flies or chickens? Let's check it out. Man, I better go. Can't see anything but a bunch of feathers, Blue. Could be a nest. No sign of an egg. You know what's going on here, Blue? Yeah, such a sad story. This little moth thinks he's circling the sun. See, they've learned to navigate by the sun's rays. And this poor guy is trying to do the same thing with the candle. Only he can't, because the candle's not far enough away, so the rays aren't parallel. And that means he's going to circle closer and closer and closer to the main until what? We both know what'll happen. <laughs> oh, poor little fellow. I can't take it anymore, Blue. <laughs> Good for you. What? What? Must be a bunch of insects in there. That's what stridulation means. Rubbing body parts together to make a sound. Be an egg in there. Well, you never know till you look. Hmm. Click beetle, long horned beetle, shazen bug, no egg. Well, I say stridulation was a bit of a misnomer in this case. Did you see that, Blue? They weren't using body parts. They were playing instruments. Like you said, kid, this is a strange place. What do you know? What is this? 
Looks like a riddle machine to me. Pretty fancy way to keep a door shut. Wonder how you work it. This should be no problem. I'm great at riddles. Take your time, kid. I have a feeling that if you mess up, we won't get another chance. Which of the insects listed below is the most dangerous to people? Scorpion, hornet, fly. <sighs> Tricky question. It's the fly. Congratulations, that is correct. Aha! Yes! Success at last. We did it, Blue. We did it. We got an egg. Blue, they must have caught the Technolotra. Yeah, not for long, though. Look at that cage door. Yeah, it's pretty mutilated. Blue, this is incredible. If we catch the Technolotra, we'll be making history. Yeah, but only if we fix the cake first. Otherwise, we'll be history. We better get a move on, though, and fix that cake. It looks like the whole county's in on the chase. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Boy, that's not easy. Remind me never to start an egg collection. Okay, time to take care of that cake. Remember, we only have one egg, so we've got to follow the recipe exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean exactly. You've only got one chance. And yeah, make sure it's not too dry, kid. Fat cakes, skinny cakes, fake cakes. Oh, this, this has got to be the one. Lump cakes. <laughs> what does that say? The old farmer needs to practice his penmanship. Can you read that, Lou? Uh, yeah, what do you think? <laughs> Looks like something about Norma. What would she have to do with making a cake? Okay, time to take care of that cake. A little flower. <laughs> now what? A little sugar. What's gonna be next? Some butter. Oh, nasty. Now what do we try? One egg. Okay. One more thing. Jacques Dovier's lactoid emulsifier. What the heck? <laughs> okay, the machine's full. Let's bake it. Here goes. Presto! <laughs> hey, how long is it? Try to, uh, I gotta try to control myself. <laughs> All we gotta do is uh, don't make any sudden movements. Mm, well, that's not too likely. Let's go. Yeah! Hang on, kid. I'll help you. Now that'll be the day. Hey! Stop! Hold on! You can't go in the tool shed, Blue! It's one of the farmer's big don'ts! Blue! Oh my... 
Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I know that bug's in here somewhere. What's the matter, Blue? Can't you sniff her out? She's probably got some sort of odor cloaking device. Well, uh, yeah, figures. A real life technolopter is here in this room and we're gonna find it. Hey! It's just a fancy frame. That's not technolopter, that's a cerebellum. A portion of the brain that helps you keep your balance. Wonder what that's doing here. Nope. Not here. That's no bug. Let's see what's on the tube. The exoskeleton of an insect does not grow with the rest of the body. As a result, insects must shed their exoskeletons in order to mature into adults. This process is called molt. Nothing here but worms. Yeah, you don't like that. Nope. Not here. Nope. That's her. She's in the drawer. What the heck is she doing in there anyway? It's all over, Gordon Smugs. Your history. Washed up. Finished. He might help. Hey! There it is, Blue! Oh, yeah. Now watch it, kid! He, he. I'm gonna have to find something to lure them away. Think we can blast him with this, Blue? Better not. Another bum steer. We better hurry. The farmer could show up at any minute. Think we can blast him with this, Blue? Better not. Yeah, this should do the trick. Down the hatch. <laughs> ah, now I got it. That a boy. Come here, you little wanna-fodge. wanna, -fodge. wanna -fodge. Well, Never heard that one before. Where'd she go, Blue? Well, she vanished. Scrammed. That's what she vamoosed. She left the building room. Stop whimpering, Blue. This is no time to feel sorry for ourselves. Let's get a move on and find that beetle. She's right outside the door, Blue. I knew we never should have come in here. Now we're trapped. If he catches us, we'll be shoveling cow manure every weekend for the rest of our lives. Oh, yeah, maybe there's another way out. <laughs> Shh. Hey, a secret tunnel. Now we're talking. Uh, I don't know. It looks a tad dark down there. Come on. No. Where should we go? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What's this, Blue? Uh, more data, no doubt. Army ants stripped this cow skeleton of flesh in only a few hours. They were pretty hungry. Gross. I wonder if Norman knows about this. Well, let's get a move on. Decisions, decisions, decisions. We... What have we here? The common fly. 
while dreadfully filthy, is capable of accelerating at 50 times the rate of the human space shuttle. Well, that's pretty quick. Hmm. Wonder how that compares to the Technoloptera. It's kind of cold down here. <laughs> We made it, Blue. Whoa! No, it's the bug in question. Whoa! Come here! I can't see a thing, Blue. That's not an option. Yeah, getting squashed sure is. What's this? Yeah, it looks like another one of those riddle machines. Great. Just what we need. Another pop quiz. Well, yeah, might as well face up to it. You can't catch the Technoloptera if you don't get in that room. Ready? Thank you for your persistent interest in insect affairs. We appreciate your patronage and, of course, your diligence. You may move on as soon as you complete this signing out process. Okay, here's how it works. A question appears on the screen. You have to pick the right answer. If you get it right, great. You have to get the first two questions right to get the door open. Get one question wrong and you'll be stranded here in this musty cave. Only exceptional patrons succeed. So buck up and good luck. This is serious stuff, Blue. Yeah, it is. True or false? Some termites build nests that are as deep as a football field is long. No way. 130 feet deep is maximum. Exactly! Let's have the next question. Point out the part of this diagram that is incorrect. The drawing shows the stage of growth of an insect. Eh? Hey. Larva, mandible, adult. It's not mandible, it's pupa. Very impressive. Are you interested in tutoring? <laughs> Very funny. Bruce. Be careful, Blue. This could be dangerous. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Locked. Well, I might be trapped, but so are you, Technoloptera. Whoa! Back me up, Blue! Guard the door! <laughs> Killer! Insectathon, here we come! Okay, okay, take it easy. I'm not gonna hurt you. It's signaling at the radio. I what she wants me to hear. Hey, you. Yeah, you with the red hat. Yeah, you. Wait a minute. You mean, you mean we can communicate to this radio? Yeah, that's right. Now move aside. I can get us out of here in two seconds flat. So, she needs me. Now's my chance. Okay, I've got a proposition for you. You do a trick for me and I'll step aside and let you out of here. The old break the glass jar with the sonic boom trick you're so famous for. I'd really like to see that one. Once she gets in the jar, we'll tape it up with duct tape, and we'll beat Gordon Smugs for sure. This is no time for dickering, okay? I've got important business to take care of. You'll never get by my vicious dog. You might get past me, but you'll never get past him. Well, maybe you're right. Hmm, tell you what. If you can offer me three things that'll make my life easier, I'll get us out of here and do that jar trick for you. Scout's honor? Scout's honor. But three strikes and you're out. I'm in a hurry, so three bad offers and the deal's off. Tough customer. What am I going to offer? I can offer her protection from the farmer. He'd probably spray something in order to kill her if he ever found her. Or I could offer to do a little pupa sitting for her. Then I could grow my own killer technoloptera. Uh, protection. How about I agree to give you a little protection from the old farmer? He'd probably jump at a chance to wipe you out. Nah, don't need it. Like him.
Oh, rejection. We're only allowed two more pet offers. On to the next offer. Could put out some bombing targets for her. Better get some practice from way up, or offer her some termites for dinner. The old farmer would probably be happy about that. I could lay down some stink bomb targets for you. Hey, I could use the practice. I'm always afraid of, you know, hitting innocent bystanders. You're kidding. Nope. Don't like to disturb anyone. <laughs> One down, two to go. Now what am I gonna offer? How about a 12 month subscription to Beat 'em and Stop 'em magazine? She probably can't read it, but she could look at the pictures. Or what else? It'd be a long shot, but I could offer her the farmer's collection of Frank Sinatra's dance classics. Now, I know this might seem like a strange offer, but how about a complete collection of Frank Sinatra's dance classics? All 12 albums. Fabulous. I'll take them. Fantastic. That's two offers accepted. We only need one more. Hmm. <laughs> what next? How about a massage? She looks a little stiff. Or a little perfume. Cover up the dung aroma. How about a massage? You look a little stiff. Well, uh, I am a little stiff. Your fault, actually. Yeah, I'll take it. Victory! We did it, Blue! Smugs will be lucky to get second place. What's going on? Earthquake. <laughs> you kidding? Push on the wall behind me. It's too heavy for me. Better get out of here before the whole tunnel collapses. Hurry up, Blue! Get a move on! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm hurrying. An earthquake. What'll I think of next? Hey, where'd she go? Hey, you dirty dealer! You owe me! <laughs> So dark. Just, just grab a hold of my tail. I'll just grab your tail, Blue, if you don't mind. Mm, sure, I'll follow my nose. <laughs> uh, I smell something further down the way here. Well, what if we fall into a hole? Yeah, well, we'll probably die. Hey, Blue, there's a light. Oh, no kidding. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, yeah, I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. Short legs. Glowworms, Blue, by the Joyans. I couldn't see the end of my nose if it wasn't for them. You sure look silly, Blue. Yeah, well, that makes two of us. Watch this. It doesn't look good. It's on its way up, too. Tunnel collapse. I think that means we're in big trouble, Blue. For once, I wouldn't mind running into the old farmer. Blue! This is no time for reflection. If we don't get out of here quick, we'll be buried alive. Day, day, that will live in infamy. At least the glow worms would soften the blow. Yeah. Let's get a move on our smugs will win any insect upon. This better be good. A map. This shows the way out, Blue. Yeah, if only they'd drawn a whole picture. Let's figure this out. Might not survive this. Oh man, I'm 
gonna die. I'm definitely gonna die. I don't like the sound of that. Uh oh. Too soon, I'll tell ya. Look out, Blue! Oh, boy. You all right? Oh, rumble, rumble, you hardly. Well, I don't want to discourage him. Free at last. No, don't be so sure. Sure is dark, though. Well, we must have been underground for a couple of hours. The old farmer's not going to be exactly thrilled with us, Blue. Well, you can say that again. The old farmer... Where the heck are we, anyway? Oh, no! We're on the island, Blue! In the middle of the farmer's pond! That was one of his big don'ts! Yeah, I remember that don't. We can't go back through the tunnel. Now that it's flooded. What are we gonna do? Well, easy. You just swim on over to the... Can't swim, Blue. What did he say? I can't swim! That's what I thought he said. I can't see either. Except when that lightning bug flies by. Maybe over this way. No. How about... Well, sure is dark. Yeah, we've been over that already. Blue, want a snack? <coughs> Mm-mm. Nothing better than three-day-old big mouth bass heads. Well, unless something that's four-day-old big mouth bass heads. That's better. Don't forget the eyes, Blue. Hey, the farmer's got cigarettes in here. And I heard him tell his wife he quit. Well, what the heck? Might as well take a puff. Breed of dogs, uh -huh. especially bloodhounds. Yeah, uh -huh. you can see in the dark. Well, I don't know. They've got, you know, X ray, infrared, radar, vision building. Uh -huh. Well, 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 maybe we do. Maybe we don't. Even uh -huh. without that firefly, uh -huh. I bet if I just hung on to your tail. Oh, well, now wait a minute. Uh -huh. You could guide us all the way home. Well, well home, I don't know. Is that true, Blue? Well, it, uh, I don't know. Could you guide us all the way home? So why don't you get off your rope and do something? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's fairly disturbing, you know. 
I wonder if the farmer was smart enough to put in batteries. Where's the little thingy switch? Absolutely fantastic. I should have thought of this sooner. Come on, everybody. Let's blow this dirt mound. Well, well there we go. Well, yeah. Hey, wait a minute. The flashlight. I lost the flashlight. How could you let me lose the flashlight, Blue? Uh, wait just a second here. Wait a minute. I'll, I'll be shoveling horse manure for weeks. Ungrateful ingrate. Uh, next time I'll let him soak a while. Hey, Blue. The plank. Come on. Mm -hmm. we have to... What's this? It's mud, Blue. Yeah, a boy's got an eye for detail. Mm -hmm. What do I do now? I didn't think the old guy was much of a reader. Mm -hmm. The North American Timberwolf made their first appearance in Sherman County in more than 25 years, known for their ferocious ep Heights. The wolves were spotted just east of Lake Marigold last week. I don't think I'm much of a reader. Did you see that meteor shower, Blue? Well, I was afraid this might happen. There are hundreds of them. He's beginning to hallucinate. This is a cinch. Uh, uh. Mary, Mary. What do you know? Another radio. Maybe we can tune into the Technolopter. Yeah, a long shot, but worth a try. I know this is the right channel. It's gotta be. Come in, Technolopter. I know you're out there, you no good deal breaking excuse for a wing flapping arthropod. Come in, Technolopter. What do you Oh, come on, kid. Don't let it get you down. Make a run for it. What? Get a move on. I don't have much power left. What are the odds, Blue? Uh, if you ask me, this whole situation's a little far-fetched. No! Man, it's getting worse. Our hopes! Our dreams! Our city. 
Got some friends there. Heard the nightlife is really hopping. But in order to live in the big city, I have to get enough cash together to import cow dung. Cow dung being my main source of fuel. She's part dung beetle. I knew it. And the only way I can get that much cash is by winning the Insectathon. Yeah. First place is worth 20 grand. But I need the perfect partner. Uh-huh. Someone who knows enough to enter me in the right events. Someone who will be willing to split the Insectathon winnings with me once we win. No problem. I never cared about the money anyway. Plus, who wants to go to the Insectathon with some geek with no gumption? <laughs> Hold on there. You've passed the test. You better believe we have. All you gotta do now is answer a few simple questions, and the Insectathon trophy will be in the bag. Our bag. And that nerdy needler you keep mentioning, what's his name? Gordon, Gordon Smugs. Smugs. Yeah, Gordon Smugs. He'll be off your back permanently. So what do you want to ask me? Okay, I'm gonna ask you five questions. You gotta get four of them right. Well, all right. I'm getting pretty sick of these question and answer sessions. Think about smugs, kid. Think about smugs. Reach under the radio. You'll find a portable transceiver. No kidding. Unbelievable. As I ask the questions, the answers will come up on the screen. Just pick the one you think is right. Okay. Ready? Ready. Ready. <laughs> Here's the first question. Based on what you know about beetles, would I or wouldn't I do well in the Slurpee drinking contest? Well, think about her eating. No, I wouldn't think so. You're a chewer, not a sucker. Excellent thinking. I'll say. Excellent. Off to a good start. Okay, next question. Who's the biggest threat in the architecture contest? A mud dauber wasp? An aphid? A termite? Hmm. Mud dauber, aphid, or termite? Mm. The termite, absolutely. That's it. Very good. I'd rather not even enter that competition. You're doing great. That's two down, two to go. Atta boy, keep it up. Things are going pretty well. Some of the bugs in the Insectathon may cheat in their events. I'd like to avoid competing with these rascals, so it's important for you to know this if we're going to be partners. Which of the following are most likely to resort to germ warfare? A cockroach, a stink beetle, a housefly. <sighs> that would be the housefly? Nasty buggers. Correctamundo. You're almost there. One more to go. Ooh, I can't wait to see the slump on Gordon Smug's face. Okay. Let me have it. Which of the following insects is most likely to win the flight distance contest? Me, a dragonfly, a monarch butterfly, a queen termite. <laughs> monarch butterfly, of course. Those bees can fly over a thousand miles in a stretch. We're gonna be champions! Wow! 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 I wonder what the farmer will say. Wow! <laughs> uh, I'm a bit of a bug man myself. <laughs>
Hey, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on just a minute now. Slow down there. So what do we do now? Well, how about a nice long nap? How about I introduce you to some of my buddies? Sure. Elbow in blue. Meet Bob, Rita, Harry, Joe, Val, Rob, I meet my buddy, Elroy in blue. Hey, how's it going, man? So what's your name, Elroy? You never told me your name. Oh, it's, uh, Allie. Yeah, I like Allie's. Okay, Allie. Let's look for some action. All right. Sounds good to me. <laughs>